um, for oversized loads. Okay, um, some of their loads as they bring the rig, the drill rig actually to the site are oversized loads, and we'll still handle those under a permit process. But along with this site construction for the well pads being so large, and then once the rig is in and they start the fracking process, uh, there are hundreds of trucks for each site that bring water to and from the site. And as the county engineer, we were concerned that uh, that repetitive use of the roads was going to chew up a lot of the roads we had. So this agreement came out, we could have handled most of these situations with our already in place permit process, but we wanted some mechanism to be able to have the drilling companies uh, somewhat responsible, at least through a bonding mechanism uh, for potential damage that could be caused by the repetitiveness of legal loads. Uh, we can't stop the legal loads, but the repetitiveness of them could cause uh, damage to the roads that they were planning to do. The way the agreement sets, is set up is, is they determine a site for a well uh, and a proposed route. Uh, they work with our office. Uh, they have they hire a geotechnical engineering firm to come in and core the existing road to find out the condition and thickness of the pavement and the base. Based upon that, their engineer takes this information and they prepare a proposed design based upon the number of trucks they feel they'll be bringing down this road. They propose a new pavement design uh, to actually repair the roads or if the roads don't need repaired, they let us know in a report. Once we accept that, then they proceed to either, if nothing needs to be done, they do nothing other than follow our permit process and provide a bond or if they determine that the existing road base and road condition is such that they know their trucks are going to tear it up, they come in and fix them first. They learned in Pennsylvania uh, through trial and error that it, they find it's better for them to come in and repair the road first uh, instead of tearing up the existing road and fixing it later. Uh, we like that approach. But we also wanted protection that if they repair the road first, we wanted some mechanism in place that once they were done, that they put the road back to the repaired status prior to them starting to haul on it after they had fixed it. So that's the basics of the agreement. That's what it's trying to accomplish. Now, for other companies, I know you have the permitting process, yes. but how are you going to know? that they're uh, the same kind of operation that Chesapeake is and that you ought to have an agreement with them also. Our intent is, is these larger drillers come in, and that's who you're dealing with, the larger companies in this Utica shale play. Uh, the, the small mom and pop drillers that have put the small vertical wells in aren't capable uh, of, of doing the type of drilling that Chesapeake's doing. Our intent is, as other companies of that size and magnitude come in, we would intend to have them sign the same, if not a very similar type of arrangement with us. How are you going to know about them, though? Um, we, we get notification uh, as uh, drillers uh, submit to ODNR uh, that a well permit is in process for a particular site. So that's one way. Uh, there's also movement throughout the state uh, that is going to make the permitting process with ODNR such that they're going to make sure that a road use maintenance agreement is in place before ODNR actually issues them the permit. With whom? The, the locality or with ODNR? No, with the, the local road agency. Okay, so, so if it's a township? We, can we expect in Stark County to see townships entering into these agreements yes, and too? Yes, and, and as us being the engineering advisor to the townships, our office, uh, most of the townships uh, have copies of our agreement, and we would recommend to them that they have the drilling company sign the same agreement with us. 
But it's my understanding that if this goes through uh, at ODNR, they won't even be able to get a drilling permit till they're sure that the uh, the company has the road use maintenance agreement in place with the proper road agencies. So that's a proposal. It's a proposal, but it's right. gaining ground. Okay. Uh, so do you think that the element in Star County community that is against fracking, at least that part of it, the road's part of their concerns, that this should be a satisfactory solution to them? Yes, we, we, we are hopeful that that's what it is. I mean, we're putting every mechanism in place that we can legally do to make sure that our roads are protected. Because, as you know, our, our budget's as tight as the, the county's, and we've got many miles of road that we have to pave ourselves. Uh, we can't have somebody coming in and tearing them up and expecting us to fix them. What are the amounts of the bonds? Uh, currently, um, the agreement with Chesapeake is set up. We're requesting uh, 200000 uh, per mile of road and 250000 for each bridge that they cross. Um, they are also, as far as the bridges go, they also have a company come in, load rate the bridges for us uh, to make sure that they're suitable uh, to haul these loads across. Um, there may be a time, uh, I mean, if they're coming in, we've also had discussion with Chesapeake, if they're coming in and basically rebuilding uh, the entire road for us, uh, we may lower that bond amount to more of a maintenance bond situation than what we feel would be to replace the entire mile road ourselves. Uh, because if they're rebuilding it, it should be basically in, in good shape. Uh, we've not been willing to do that yet uh, because we've not been through a fracking operation yet. Uh, the first one that we will likely see will be the, the one out on Indian Run. Uh, the pad is built. Uh, the rig is probably moving in as we speak. Uh, so once we see how that goes along with then once they frack the well, the repetitiveness of the water trucks and how those roads hold up, we may be willing to discuss with them lowering the bond uh, somewhat per mile or even maybe going to like a county-wide bond. If they're, if they're rebuilding 50 miles of our road, to have them bond all 50 miles uh, is a, a big expense to them and the likelihood of all 50 miles of that road failing once they're done um, would be very unlikely. So we may look at a, a sort of a countywide bond, but we're just in discussions with them at that, this point. Uh, let me see if I understand your point about the $250,000 per uh, mile. So if uh, Chesapeake, for instance, traveled uh, 10 miles of road, would that be $2.5 million? Yes. Okay. Our first project, uh, Orchard Orchard View and Indian Run, uh, they overlaid about two miles of Orchard View and a, rebuilt about two miles of Indian Run, and there was one bridge, so their bond is basically just short of a million dollars. The agreement that was signed, is this a long, complex agreement, or is it shortened to the point? It's about six to eight pages. Uh, once the uh, attorneys get a hold of it, it, it adds words. But, uh, no, it, it's, uh, it, it's fairly short in agreement terms. So did you say on Orchard View they did an overlay? Yes. Two and a half inches of asphalt? Uh, I think it may have been closer to four inches of asphalt. Okay. And, and they actually did an overlay on Indian Run as what well? What they do on well. Indian Run, they're, when they come in and feel that the road and the base are not good enough for an overlay, they do what is called full depth reclamation, where they actually come in with a grinding machine. They actually grind up the old asphalt the road base, a certain depth of the base itself, they grind it, they lay it down, they put cement on it, they water it down, and that cement then stabilizes that base, and that becomes the new base. Then once that's finished, they come in and put an additional four, in, four or five inches of asphalt on top of that. Uh, so it's basically a brand new rebuilt road. And in many places, they end up widening it for us too. Uh, you know, We've got some narrow roads out there, and they may take a road that's typically 20, 21 feet. We may end up actually with 24 did foot they, of width when they're done. Did they do a bridge on Indian Run, too? No, there was a bridge on Indian Run, but it uh, 
to their load rating uh, indicated that it was fine to carry the loads. Uh, okay. uh, the tone of the negotiations. Uh, any acrimony there? No. Um, they approached us first. Uh, they've been very forthcoming with us. Uh, they told us what they planned to do. Um, we had an agreement, uh, a copy of agreement, that another county was considering using. It was a, had a lot of extra stuff in it. We stripped out what you know we felt uh, was necessary. Went through a couple iterations on changing a few words here, a few words there, and other than that, they've been very good to work with. Were you the chief negotiator for Stark County? Uh, myself and, and Dave Torrance and Brian Wise, my construction engineer, the, the three of us basically uh, took care of the technical ends. Of course, Sharon Miller, our attorney, handled the, the legal side of it. Are, are you open uh, to taking questions from Stark County citizens? Uh, when the word gets out there on the, sure. the agreement, and yeah, we've the, been uh, we've uh, we've been to the township trustees association meeting to let them know what we were doing. They all have copies, but uh, yeah, we're we're willing to answer questions for them. Can I ask you well, what townships these involve? Oh, you said Orchard View is that is in Osnaburg Township. Um, Indian Run. Indian Run. That Orchard View and Indian Run the is in Osnaburg. Yes. Okay, and then Oak Hill. Oak Hill is in, I think it's in the Michelin. Okay, there's only one Oak Hill, right? Yeah, so it's, it's off of one, one in, in fact, they were, that was one of the instances where they were very good to work with. They were planning on coming down Oak Hill from the north off of uh, State Street. Uh, there were, in fact, they had design plans, everything ready to go because they were moving so quick. Uh, there were a couple bad intersections there, and we suggested that they look at coming from the south off of State Route 153. They turned around, took our recommendations, redid the design plans, and that's the way they're coming. So they've been very, yeah, uh, they've been very good at working with us uh, in that regard. Now, when it comes to other companies, you've got this agreement with Chesapeake. Are you going to be saying to the other companies, well, this is good enough uh, for Chesapeake. We're happy with it. You need to do the same. That's our intent, yes. Oh, and then your other sites were full uh, in Bethlehem That's Township. That's in Bethlehem Township. And off and Pontius. Pontius. Uh, Is that Lake? It might be Lake or the one just to the east of it. Or, it's just east of State Route 44 on okay. Pontius. Okay. Probably Marlboro, isn't it? It could be Marlboro, yeah. yeah.